Welcome to AI Roads, your go-to source for all things AI. Alphabet's Google has released its own chatbot called Bard, seeking users and feedback to gain ground on Microsoft in a fast-moving race on artificial intelligence technology. Starting in the US and the UK, consumers can join a waitlist for English-language access to Bard, a program previously open to approved testers only. Google describes Bard as an experiment allowing collaboration with generative AI, technology that relies on past data to create rather than identify content. The release last year of ChatGPT, a chatbot from the Microsoft-backed startup OpenAI, has caused a sprint in the technology sector to put AI into more users' hands. The hope is to reshape how people work and win business in the process. Ask whether competitive dynamics were behind Bard's rollout, Jack Krauchik, a senior product director, said Google was focused on users. Internal and external testers have turned to Bard for boosting their productivity, accelerating their ideas, really fueling their curiosity, he said. Accuracy, however, is still a concern. Bard will not always get it right, a Google pop-up notice warned during the demo. Last month, a promotional video for Bard showed the program answering a question incorrectly, helping shave $100 billion off Alphabet's market value. Bard is based on generative AI, which creates content using past data. Google highlighted a couple mistakes during this week's demo to Reuters, for instance saying Bard wrongly claimed ferns required bright, indirect light in response to one query. Bard also produced nine paragraphs of text when asked for four in another question. We know the limitations of the technology, and so we want to be very deliberate at the pace at which we roll this out, said Krauchik. Google's move is a response to the recent release of ChatGPT by OpenAI and Microsoft's Bing chatbot. While Google is taking a more cautious approach compared to its competitors, it wants to demonstrate that it's capable of providing similar technology while preserving its most profitable business. We'll keep you updated on any new developments, so make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.